Check this out right here. The snake sitting in this bush is known as the highly venomous bormstang. It is usually found up in trees, but sometimes it might descend to the floor, for instance to escape possible threats, such as me and my cameraman. And there it goes! I have to be so careful now. One mistake and I could be in a world of trouble. The bombstang is the number one most venomous snake in all of Africa and it has one of the strongest venoms of any snake on earth. One microscopic drop is enough to kill up to 25 men. So its venom is called a hemotoxic venom, which is wild. So if this snake bites me, um, the symptoms will be bleeding. I'll be bleeding out my nose, I'll be bleeding out of my eyes, and when you go to toilet, it, you also start peeing blood. Lucky for us though, even though the snake is super toxic, we have about two up to seven days to get medical treatment. Um, so there's an antivenom for the snake in Johannesburg, so it's about six hours, seven hour drive from here, but it's still enough obviously to um, save a person's life that would be bitten here in this area. Now what is interesting about this specimen here, you can see the color. This is like an olive color and this right here originally been considered a female. The way I can tell is because just of the color. So this snake is what we call sexually dimorphic. So we are able to tell the gender of this snake by just looking at it. So the males, they will actually be green, yellow or even blue while the females are like um, a brown coloration, sometimes even black or gray. Because of their colors, bombsangs are often confused with green and black mambas. To identify snakes, it is recommended to look at the head shape rather than the color of the body. This snake has a small round head with big eyes, whereas the mambas have a long edgy head with a smiling mouth. Bombsangs have tiny fangs in the back of their mouth right underneath the eyes as they are venomous members of the colubrid snake family. Contrary popular belief, this snake can still envenomate a person on the arm, leg or forehead. This is because it can open its mouth up to 160 degrees. But unlike most other venomous snakes, the bombsang's fangs are grooved, not hollow. Therefore they have to chew in order for the venom to be injected effectively. And you can see, look at this. Look at the way it's wrapping around my fingers. This is just another example, it's just perfect um, what a climber they got. They don't got no arms, they don't got no legs like a monkey. But this right here, this is basically their arm. See that? Absolutely magnificent how they just wrap around here. And that is just to get a hold because the snake right now, as you can see, it's only fixed in this hook stick and on my hand. It doesn't want to fall. Perfect. What an incredible specialist. Despite its venom toxicity, the bombsang causes only very few bites and even fewer fatalities. This is mainly due to its shy nature and its secretive life up in trees far away from people. What a sweet snake. I will let her go now so she can go back up her thorn bush.